Jessica Jones season one is currently available on Netflix and I recently binged the entire series and I can't wait to review it. Wanna let you guys know that at the end of this video, I'm giving away something cool. There's something awesome in this box. I'm hosting a giveaway on my channel and I'm excited to tell you guys about that. But first, let's get down to business. Now I didn't know much about Jessica Jones, the comic book character going into the show. In fact, I knew nothing. I hadn't seen a trailer for the show either. I stayed away from virtually all information, so I started season one, episode one, not knowing a thing about the plot, what she could do, anything. Which was a great decision on my part because as the show went along, I was consistently surprised as certain characters showed up that I did know about and her powers that suddenly were prevalent that I knew nothing about. Jessica Jones is a private eye played by Kristen Ritter and she is amazing in this show. She is the epitome of an anti-hero. She treats virtually everyone like crap. She's an alcoholic. She can't manage her powers very well. She's the definition of what a vulnerable hero is while also being an anti-hero. It feels like she can be beaten. She can break. The villain, played by David Tennant, is known as Kilgrave, a man who can control anyone. He's kind of like that character Pusher in the X-Files TV show. You know, the guy who could make people see or do things. Except Kilgrave is more along the lines of actually telling someone to do something and that person will do it. He will look at you and say, slap yourself in the face, and you'll be like, and the show treads a lot of emotional grounds with Jessica's character in regards to her past with Kilgrave. Apparently at some point in time, she was under his control. She did things that I will not spoil, that she regrets strongly and will have future implications on current people that she meets, like Luke Cage. Luke Cage in this show is freaking awesome. This guy is so cool. I wanted to be that guy. I wanted to own a corner street dive bar, wiping down my tables, making sure everything's clean, and oh, by the way, also have unbreakable skin. And one of the only people that Jessica trusts in this show is her best friend, Trish. This is a girl that she grew up with together. She knows about Jessica's powers. She knows about some of her past. That's season one summed up in a nutshell with no spoilers. But what impressed me so much about this show was how subdued it was. Jessica has super strength. She can jump very high and sort of kind of fly. She can punch through walls and lift up cars, but the show isn't about her powers. They're just a side topping, like a dessert, you know? Like the main course of this show is her past, how punished she feels about things that she's done, how she has to deal with the things that are happening to her now, while also being an alcoholic. The show is not so much about superheroes and being super strong and awesome. It's really a character piece. And that's what I loved about Jessica Jones. And I can't stress this enough, Kristen Ritter, my gosh, she's good in this show. I'm talking like Emmy worthy, Golden Globe worthy, because with a character like her, it's so easy to become unlikable. She treats everyone poorly. She drinks a lot. Very few people like her, and there are times in the show where I'm like, damn, Jessica, that's cold, girl, come on now. But once the layers get peeled back and you understand the things that she's actually gone through as a person, not just as an adult, but as a child, choices that she makes in the show make sense. Once you understand all the things that she's dealt with, it was very similar to the Kingpin in season one of Daredevil. The guy's a maniac, and you're like, wow, what a crazy guy. And then you find out about his childhood, and you're like, oh, can't I I can kind of see why you feel that way. David Tennant in this show plays a disgustingly vile man that you just hate, which is a bit of a turn for him because he's more known as the Doctor Who hero type character, the very funny guy. And in this show, you love to hate this guy. I mean, this guy's a bastard and he owns every minute of it. He was fantastic in this show. All the performances are way better than you would think they would be. When this year started, I was positive that my two favorite Marvel entertainments released this year would be Avengers Age of Ultron and Ant-Man, and it ended up being Daredevil and Jessica Jones. What Netflix is doing right now with Marvel is unprecedented. It's better than any other superhero show that's on TV. None of them stuck with me like Daredevil and Jessica Jones. And part of me admired Jessica Jones possibly even more as a show because it was less reliant on action sequences and more reliant on character. I love Daredevil. It's about as close to perfect as a Daredevil show could ever be. But what Jessica Jones did with creating a dramatic and exciting character piece surprised the hell out of me. I have but one issue with season one, and that is that the directors that were chosen 
all did very good work, but certain episodes don't feel differentiated from the others. One of my favorite things about TV shows is that they hire different directors to helm different episodes, and so different episodes feel different. Like, remember the end of episode two, Cut Man in Daredevil? That amazing one-take shot? None of the other episodes felt like that because that was a unique directorial vision for that episode. Most of the episodes in Jessica Jones feel very much the same in regards to how they're helmed. It's all really good. I just would have liked a little bit more variety in the direction choices, and hopefully we'll see that in season two. I loved Jessica Jones, and I'm going to give it an A. Guys, it's on Netflix right now, and if you're not watching it, I recommend it strongly. I binged the last five or six episodes in one sitting, and that's really rare for me. <laughs> that was six hours of sitting there like, this is awesome. Now about the giveaway I mentioned. I've wanted to do something like this for a long time. I've looked for ways in which I can give back to you guys, and sometimes it's hard because companies want you to promote their product, or they want you to say nice things about their product, and yeah, maybe we'll send you some to give to your viewers, but you have to lie and say our product's amazing, and I don't like doing that. It makes me feel icky. So when I got in contact with NVIDIA Shield, they sent me two of these things, one of them for myself and one of them to give away to my viewers. Now what I appreciate about what NVIDIA Shield has done is they have asked me to give my honest opinion about this product. They told me, oh, we don't want you to lie. You can compare it to any other products out there. We don't care. We just want you to have fun with it and let your viewers know about it and you can give them one for free. We don't want you to lie. And I was like, okay, that I can do. Plus I get to give one to you guys, which is great. What the Shield is is essentially a streaming device. You can stream Netflix or YouTube or various video games or television through it in 4K and 60 frames per second. Now this is rare. Devices aren't doing that nowadays. The Shield is unique in that regard. And watching Jessica Jones in 4K on my 4K TV was like looking into some sort of 3D world. And I'm not talking about putting on 3D glasses like with Avatar or something. I mean, I was looking into a world. I felt like I was looking at a window into a world that existed. And that was amazing. It also comes with a super sleek controller and I loved holding it. It was very comfortable in my hands. And like I said, I want to give back to you guys. I want to find a way in which I can start doing more giveaways just to give my viewers stuff. It also has Google Play Music, Pandora, and Vivo apps to create an incredible music experience in your living room. It is in support of Google Voice Search. Basically, it's an amazing product. It's state of the art. It's up to date. I've had a great time using it. And if you'd like to learn more about the shield there is a link below that link takes you to the insane video nvidia did where they dropped a dude and his living room out of a plane at 10,000 feet there is a link in the description to learn more about it and all you have to do is just be a subscriber seriously i'm not going to ask you guys to do a thing you don't have to follow me on twitter or retweet this or share it or anything just be a subscriber be awesome like you guys already are i'll pick one of you i'll get in contact with you if you respond back I will get your information and I will send you one for free. My gift to you guys. Thank you very much, NVIDIA, for sending me two. I love you guys. You're the best. And thank you so much for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. <laughs> <laughs>